Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're working on number 28 on the new General Curriculum Math Subtest. This is a nice one involving linear equations and slope. A great one to take a look at, especially if you're an elementary and middle school teacher. These are very common types of questions on those elementary and middle school teacher certification exams. I'll start by reading over number 28 and then we'll work through some of the math. It says here for number 28, use the graph below to answer the question that follows. We're given a graph, we have an X horizontal axis, a Y vertical axis, and we have this line AB, and it says which of the following lines, if graphed on the coordinate system above, would be parallel to line AB? Now there's two very important pieces of information in this question. First, we're talking about a line. AB is a line, and when we think about lines, you can represent them as y is equal to mx plus b. This is the equation for a linear function. Our m here is the slope. Our b is our y-intercept. And remember, slope here, think about slope. Slope is equal to rise over run or the change in y's over the change in x's. b is our, is our start. When x is 0, b is our y-intercept. It's the when x is 0, b is our, our y-coordinate. In this one right here, if we're just if we just wanted to find the uh, equation of this line right here, well, first we'd find the slope of this uh, this one right here. Remember, slope is equal to rise over run. Now you'll notice that as we read this, um, as we look at this line, it's going from high to low. So this is actually going to have a negative slope and when we, when we do the rise we're actually not rising we're descending as we go from A to B we go down and then we go over to the right so we're going down how much? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we go down negative 6 and we run 1, 2, 3, 4, positive 4. So if we're thinking about slope of this line our rise over run is negative 6 over 4, which reduces to negative 3 over 2. All right, so if we were to rewrite this right here, we could say y is equal to negative 3 over 2x plus, now we have a y-intercept. A y-intercept is this value here. When x is 0, y is this coordinate right here. So this looks like when x is 0, y is negative 1, negative 2. So this would be actually negative 2. We could, if we were trying to, if we clean this up a little bit, the equation for that line right there, a, b, is equal to y is equal to negative 3 over 2x minus 2. This is the slope of the line. This is the y-intercept. Now, we're not trying to find the equation of the AB, but we're trying to find the equation of a parallel line. And what you got to remember is that parallel lines have the same slope. So if this is our line right here, and we call it line CD, it's parallel. It means it has the same rise to run relationship. So the slope of CD is going to be negative 3 over 2 because it, parallel lines have the same slope. Now let's look at these options right here. I'm going to put a triangle around the slopes of each line. Triangle around the slopes. This one here doesn't have a slope. It's actually not, a, it's a, the slope is zero. So for that reason, since it doesn't have a slope or the slope is zero, we're going to, uh, we're going to cross it out for now. We'll save this for another video. Now let's evaluate the slopes of B, C, and D. We know that this parallel line has the same slope. Which of these has the same slope as negative 3 over 2? Well, the answer here is D. D has the same slope. D is the answer. Some teachers say, well, I see that it has the same slope, negative 3 over 2, but what about this positive 1? What does that mean? Team, all that means is that this line right here has a y-intercept of positive 1. Okay? That's all it means, and, and you shouldn't be thrown off by that because this has these, these having a, an intercept doesn't affect the slope. 
and we could have a positive 1 intercept, we could have a negative 6 intercept, we could have a positive uh, 7 intercept, y intercept, you mean the point that goes through the axis, but they all could have the same slope. So the intercept doesn't affect if a line is parallel uh, to another line. What does matter is that the two lines have the same slope. So essentially in this problem right here, if you're looking for a line that's parallel, if that's your mission is to find a line that's parallel, then first you find out the slope of this, negative 3 over 4, and get to the 3 over 2 as your slope, and then match it up with the one that has the same slope and you'll find the parallel line every time. All right? Okay, team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, we're holding workshops in math, science, English, and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI, these are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check them out. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, and a couple other states. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.